And I know many things, for I walk by night. I know many strange tales hidden in the hearts of men and women who have stepped into the shadows. Yes, I know the nameless terrors of which they dare not speak. were those who could not agree with nor condone his methods. Yes, David, more than one of your friends believe that you're betraying the profession, don't they? It's going to have to end sometime, Martin. Has to be a payoff eventually. Oh? What are you babbling about, Lieutenant? Give it. You know, sometimes I'm sorry I'm on the force fooling around with small stuff like murder, when I could be doing great work like you. Upholding the rights and defending poor, innocent guys like Branch Morgan. Is this going to be another lecture? If so... I know. You're not interested. That's right, I'm not. I got a tip for you, Counselor. About cops. Don't give us the brush off, because one of these days you're gonna need us. Really? Guys who play palsy-walsy with the big racket boys usually do. Look. I like you, Dave. You're a good kid. And you've got a nice family. Why don't you drop Branch Morgan? And why don't you mind your own business? Haven't you worries of your own, Radigan? Okay, sorry. Jury's come back in. Like to hear the verdict? Well, pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? <laughs> Look, make it snappy, huh? I gotta call my paper. Guilty? Uh-uh. Not guilty. What else? That Dave Martin is quite a mouthpiece. Yeah. I guess he is. The judge is real sore, though. Asked Martin to step into his chambers. I'd say he was gonna give him the business. Well, Your Honor, you said you wanted to talk to me? Yes, I wanted to compliment you on the way you handled the case for Branch Morgan. I did my best. Uh, it was more than enough. Is that all, sir? Mr. Martin, I know this is none of my business, but there's something I'd like to caution you about. Oh? You show a lot of promise. There are great things ahead for you if... Well, I don't like to see a fine young man like you mixed up with an out-and-out -out criminal. Well, I thought the jury found him innocent, sir. The jury found insufficient evidence to convict. That doesn't necessarily imply innocence. You pleaded the case well. Doubtless you'll be able to do the same again for him. If you're willing to pay the price. The price? Your conscience and your peace of mind. Will that be all, Your Honor? Yes, that's all. Very well. Good day, sir. It's over again, isn't it, David? Another acquittal for Branch Morgan. Another big fee. And you keep telling yourself there's nothing wrong with what you're doing. No. Nothing at all. Stella? Yes, darling? Is, um, is anything wrong? Wrong? No, why? I thought something might be bothering you. No, of course not. If 
thought you'd be happy about the way the case turned out. You can buy that dining room set now. Yes. Yes, we can. The case was a cinch. Nothing to it at all, really. State's evidence was insufficient. Good. One of their witnesses didn't show up. Oh. Same as the last time. And a week later, the witness was found at the bottom of the river. Look, I had nothing to do with that. No. No, of course not. All right. So Branch Morgan's no angel. But no matter how he makes his money, he's entitled to be represented by an attorney. He pays me well. If I wasn't getting his business, some other lawyer would. A lawyer isn't a criminal just because he defends one, is he? You're defending yourself now, aren't you? Now, we're not going to go through all that again. I've told you a hundred times. I get it. Hello. Um, hello, Ranch. What? Oh, that's too bad. Of course, I'll be glad to, Branch. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it right away. What does he want now? He wants me to pick up a friend of his, Fred Williams. His brother was hurt in an accident. Oh, Dave. That's a shame. Now, Branch isn't good at this sort of thing. He wants me to tell him, drive him to the hospital. Of course, darling. I won't be long. <laughs> What are you doing here? Oh, a little business deal. All right, Williams, get in the car. No, Branch. No, I please. Said, get in. Look, give me a break. I'll leave town. I swear it. Sorry, Williams. Branch! You... All right, let's get out of here. You can't. Yeah, yeah. Now let's go. <laughs> Pretty quiet for a lawyer, aren't you, Martin? I lured Williams to his death. Oh, now, you didn't expect me to go into that cafe and get him out, now, did you? And be seen with him? The story about his brother being run over. It wasn't true. Relax. You got nothing to worry about. Just so long as we stay friends. Who was he, this Fred Williams? Well, didn't I tell you? That's the real name of the witness who didn't show up this afternoon. <laughs> well, David, you've discovered something, haven't you? The judge, Lieutenant Radigan, even your wife, Stella, tried to warn you. But you couldn't understand until now. Unknowingly. You lured the witness to his death. Stood by like one of Branch Morgan's hoodlums while Branch pulled the trigger. There's nothing you can do now, is there? Nothing to make it right again. Darling, where have you been? It's past midnight and I've been worried sick. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, Stella. Just had a little, uh, business with Branch. The man who was hurt, how is he? What? The man who was hurt, how is he? Oh, oh, he'll, uh, he'll be all right. Dave, is something wrong? No, no, nothing's wrong. Oh, there is something, tell me. Well, there's nothing I tell you. I just had a little, uh, little talk with Branch, that's all. All right, Dave. I'm sorry. Hello? Branch, 
much. What? Look, this early? What's so important that you have to see me right away? What? Yes, I'll be there. What is it? What in the world does he want at this time of morning? I've got to go, Stella. They just booked Branch on suspicion of murder. Make yourself comfortable. Branch, what happened? I was just going to ask you. Somebody tipped the cops to that Williams killing last night. Now, wait a minute. You don't think that I... I didn't say so, did I? But I'd be crazy to do anything like that. Sure. Sure you would. That's what I told Nick. Nick? Uh, Nick Roberts. He's the one the newspapers refer to as my trigger man. You've never met him. A real nice guy to have on your team when you're in a spot. We were trying to figure if there could have been another witness around last night. Any besides yourself, I mean. Branch, believe me, I didn't say anything. That's exactly what I told Nick. And you know what he said? He said, don't worry if they pick you up, boss. Because when there's no witness, there's no case. <laughs> but then a guy like you can figure that out for yourself, can't you, Martin? Yes. Yes, I can. There won't be a prosecution witness, because you're the only one. And you won't be on the witness stand, because you're going to be defending me, just like always. Only this time, Nick is going to make sure that everything goes all right. Understand? with Morgan? Heard you just had a nice chat with him in the cell. Well, look, Radigan, I don't have time to stand around. I know. Me. You're a busy man. You haven't got time to think about little things, like a guy suddenly not showing up at home. The police trying to explain to his wife how come he stopped a couple of bullets because he knew too much. Skip it. What does your wife think about that? Look, leave me alone, will you, Radigan? You're playing with dynamite this time, Sonny. Your friend Branch knows all the chips are down. Whoever put the finger on Williams is the guy who's going to hang him, and this time, so help me. The witness isn't going to disappear. What are you getting at? You've got to take your choice. I still think you're on the right side, only you don't know it yet. But you'll come through for us. You know enough about this guy's story to hang him. Got it all figured out, have you? That's why I'm putting a tail on you. He's going to watch you day and night, and if you know what's good for you, you won't try to give him the slip. Is this for my protection, or...? Just like I said, Martin. This time, the guy we think is an eyewitness isn't going to disappear. It's squarely up to you now, isn't it, David? Go along with Branch Morgan and toss the rest of your life into the ash can. Or tell the police what you know and later face Morgan's trigger man in a dark alley. Dave? Mm hmm? What are you going to do? About Branch Morgan, I mean. He's my client. I've got to defend him. Do you? Of course. Why? You know he's guilty. I don't. Why must you get yourself involved in this thing any further? You have a right to turn him down. He doesn't own you, you know. Stella, please, will you forget it? You're an accomplice. If you defend him, you're as guilty as he is. Look, will you forget it? Dave, where are you going? I'm going out. Okay, buddy. 
Might as well be sociable. I know you're the tale Lieutenant Radigan put on me. He told me himself. Radigan told you that, huh? Mm-hmm. Wonder why he doesn't tell me these things. He tell you my name, too? Nope. Well, you might as well know that. You know everything else. It's Morris. Ed Morris. Okay, Ed. Saw so you following me this afternoon. Yeah. I thought you did. Well, I take a walk around the block, if you don't mind. Why should I? Radigan will get a big bang out of this. The two of us out for a stroll. Well, the boss just said to keep an eye on you. He didn't care how. Is that all he said? That's all. Radigan thinks you're a pretty good guy. So what? Am I supposed to toss away the biggest case of my life just because he thinks I'm a good kid? I wouldn't know that. Say, there's a little cafe not far from here, just over on 6th Street. Forget it. I'm not in the mood. Maybe because it's this particular cafe. Maybe because it's the one where Fred Williams... I said forget it. Okay, okay. So, if you want to walk around the block, let's take a walk around the block. You're on a one-way street, aren't you, David? A blind alley. And you've got to go along with Branch Morgan. It's more than a matter of right and wrong, isn't it? Yes. It's a matter of life or death. And so you spend night after night at the office preparing the case, anticipating points the prosecution is certain to bring out, making another sure thing for Branch. Stella, what are you doing here? I was just worried about you, that's all. Well, you shouldn't have. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. The third night in a row you haven't come home to dinner. Look, I said I'm all right. No, you aren't. You're worried sick about something, aren't you? Why don't you tell me what's wrong? You can't go on this way. Please, darling, it, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Are you afraid to tell me? Well, why should I be afraid? You lied to me, didn't you? When you said you had nothing to do with the murder. Look, Stell... Fred Williams was the man you met that night, wasn't he? The night his brother was supposed to be in an accident. Well, answer me. All right. All right, I'll tell you. I'm the witness. I'm the only one who can hang Branch. Radigan's guessed it, I'm sure. That's why that man's down there. He's a plain clothesman, one of Lieutenant Radigan's boys, protecting me. Protecting you? Yes. His name's Ed Morris. Radigan knows if I open my mouth, tell what I know about Branch, I'm as good as dead. But I'm not worried about that, Stella. It's you and the baby. Don't you see? Morgan won't stop at anything. His trigger man is waiting for me somewhere, and that guard won't make any difference. Nick Roberts won't stop until he gets us all. Oh, Dave. Well, now you know. Sure you were right, all of you. But it's too late. So you're going to defend Branch and, and let it happen all over what again? What can I do? Look, Dave, I want you to stand up at that arraignment tomorrow morning and tell them everything. You're out of your mind. We'll take our chances. The baby, you and I. Well, it, it has to be this way. Well, if we don't, there's nothing left. Don't you see? No, I don't. Oh, please, Dave. Stella, you just don't understand. You have no... I idea. do! I'd rather be dead than married to a man that... Stella, don't say that. I don't want to hear it. Oh, look, Stella. Better go on home. I've got a lot of work to do. But, Dave... Please, honey. Everything will work out fine. I know it will. Come on now. now. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm the one that should be worrying. Okay, okay. Arraignment set for one, isn't it? Yeah. Here. Have a cigarette. Relax. Still got a half hour yet. Still pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? What do you mean? I mean, it's in the bag. You get bail for me? Yes, yes, I'll get bail for you, Branch. That's fine. That's just fine, Martin. 
You know, you and I are going to do big things together. You're a smart boy. Branch, what if I told you that this was going to be the last time? What? That if I get you out of this, we're all washed up. What do you mean, if? All right, when I get you out of this. How long have you been thinking about this? I don't know, it's just... Look, Martin, you don't just run out on a partnership. Not one like this, anyway. Not when a guy knows as much as you do. I'm not going to talk if that's what you're worried about. Who's worried? So, this is the last time if you want it that way. Of course, you won't be able to take any new cases, either. What do you mean? It's just that I'm not in charge of ending partnerships. I leave that up to Nick Roberts, my trigger man. <laughs> You're hardly listening to the statement of evidence from the prosecution, are you, David? You're thinking about that one-way street you're on, with no escape, and Nick Roberts waiting for you at the end. They're all here, aren't they? Stella, Radigan, your friends from the press, Judge Harmon, all looking at you, waiting. Wondering what you'll say when the time comes. As the prosecuting attorney finishes, it's time to go into your act, isn't it, David? Time to speak in defense of Branch Morgan, as you have done so often in the past. It's like a nightmare, isn't it? And the sound of your voice echoing around you, it's like it belongs to someone else, not you at all. May I remind the court? The so-called evidence presented by the prosecution is neither circumstantial evidence nor is it direct evidence. It is nothing, gentlemen, but suspicion. Suspicion based on the fact that it is alleged my client had ample and sufficient motive to seek the death of Fred Williams. Williams' connection has yet to be demonstrated to the satisfaction of Either the state or... I... I can't go on, Your Honor. What is it, Mr. Martin? Your Honor, I asked the court to disqualify me as counsel for the defense. I offer myself as principal witness for the prosecution. It's a new world, isn't it, David? And there's a different feel to the sidewalk under your feet as you start home that night after filing your statement with the district attorney's office. Hi, Martin. Oh, hello, Ed. Missed you when I left the hall. I was around, don't worry. Uh, looks like you've got quite a job on your hands now, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm ready. That was quite a thing you pulled this afternoon. I thought Morgan was going to pass out in his chair. <laughs> you know, Ed, now that it's all over, I'm not scared anymore. Yeah. They sent two men along with your wife's stakeout at your house. Yeah, I know. Come on, get in. Hold it. Now, Counselor, if you don't mind, let's take a little ride, huh? Well, David. Branch Morgan wasted little time carrying out his threat, didn't he? With his trigger man behind you, there's nothing you can do. You have 10, perhaps 15 minutes left to live. You haven't told me where we're going. Where else? The Hall of Justice. What? I'm booking our friend here for attempted murder. Look, I, uh, I don't understand this, Nick. Nick? 
You're Nick Roberts, aren't you? Morgan's trigger man? I'm afraid you're a little confused, Counselor. This is Nick Roberts. That's right. He's been tailing you ever since the Williams killing. My name's Jim Stanley, one of Lieutenant Radigan's men. Roderick Crawford uses his fast-talking tricks to become a corrupt politician. Don't miss All the King's Men on Saturday Night Friends, tonight at 7. <laughs>